Hello, and welcome to A Word of Hope. I'm Brother Joe Trout coming to you for this Feast of Saints Peter and Paul. And today I have one simple question for you. What are you hoping for from the Catholic Church, from its hierarchy? What are you looking for? It's pretty commonplace when we look at Peter and Paul to reflect on you know, the brokenness of the early apostles uh, and the, the early church that Jesus called pretty flawed human beings and built his church upon them. Right? You'll look at the Gospels and see accounts right and left of how you know, unhelpful the apostles actually were at first, that Jesus is saying to Peter, get behind me, Satan. Um, that we can even look at after the descent of the Holy Spirit. We get an account from Paul that Peter was inconsistent on whether or not he would eat with the uncircumcised. Um, Paul himself, I'm not sure if I would have liked him. Uh, he's pretty intense in the way he writes and interacts with people, that he's clearly a good and holy man. I'm not sure he was always that likable of a guy, but, uh, you know, all we have is a lot of angry rants at different points and a lot of inspiring rants and all kinds of different things from them, right? But the point being, we often look at them and see people who were imperfect, and yet they were instruments of God's grace. And it's wonderful to think, oh, you know what? That can be me too. I too can be broken and yet an instrument of God's grace. But I'd like today to push it a bit further and to ask, do you extend that view to the leaders of our church here and now? And it's one thing to say, yeah, Peter was broken and yet he was the rock of this church. But can I look at my bishop right here and right now and say the same? That he's not a perfect human being. That our Pope is not perfect in every conceivable way. Even our saints are not perfect in every conceivable way. They are people doing the work of God guiding us. And that what we should expect from our church is not absolute perfection. Right? This holy Catholic Church is not something that is without fault and flaw. Uh, and I can say that as someone who doesn't really remember a time before constant scandal in the Catholic Church. Right? And that's not good. Scandal isn't good. And we should hold ourselves to a higher standard. But that standard shouldn't be divine perfection. Because this is a human collection of people. Right? This is still the body of Christ made up of human beings. So can we look at our church right now? and see it as a way through which God is interacting. And that our hope for the church is not that there will never be any more mistakes, not that people won't ever get anything wrong. So that's not gonna happen. And it isn't the reign of God itself. But can we hope through our church, through our founders, through our Pope, through all of the different leaders that we have, can we hope that they will help bring us into communion with God? that we can hope for from our church. Even when you think, wow, I really don't like the people that are leading me right now. Can we at least hope that they will continue to draw us deeper and deeper in connection to Christ, even through their faults and flaws? And to see our church with the same kindness that we often see ourselves as people broken, but beautiful instruments in the hands of God. Have a wonderful day, and God bless.